I am Darth V, motherfucker of the universe. <laughs> no, seriously. All right, guys, it's uh, Death Count Rises. We're back with some. Ugh, let me get this shit off. We're back with some uh, memorabilia. I hope you guys found that funny. Took me a while to get that freaking Vader thing positioned on the mask, right? Uh, yeah, this thing goes with Vader over there, but... Uh, okay. So, uh, here's the helmet. Yeah, it's supposed to go there, but whatever. Alright, so we got some memorabilia. Here we go. A few Spawn comics, too. But I'm not getting into those. Um, first off, here we have the V4 Vendetta. This was a DC Direct um, limited uh, edition run for the movie prop mask replica. And uh, hopefully it doesn't fall. But let me see what number it is. It's uh, 324. Yeah, it's like number 324 out of 500. At the time, I bought like fucking, like, no joke, like three of these, and I sold two for like quadruple the price. You know, V4 Vendetta, I think, is a movie that a lot of people kind of slept on. I didn't think it was going to be that good, because I actually owned the um, hardcover, and I wasn't really into the story so much. But uh, the movie just blew me away. I mean, Jesus. Hugo Weaving, he was amazing. I loved his, um, all his, like, um, you know, just the way he spoke. Man, it was great. It reminded me kind of, for all you uh, classic horror movie buffs, it reminded me of Claude Rains. Claude Rains played the Invisible Man. And it was, like, very similar voices and accents, but, wow. V4 Vendetta, great movie. Even uh, that freaking bum Natalie Portman was pretty good at it. That old, overrated bitch. But anyways, um, yeah, so. The only verdict is vengeance. Of vendetta held as a vote of not in vain for the value and veracity of such shall one day vindicate the vigilant and the virtuous. Great movie. Let's move on. I got some lightsabers. I'm a Star Wars buff. I'm sure you've seen a lot of these videos if you're into this stuff. There's Luke Skywalker. There's Anakin Skywalker, daddy. But you could also call this the Luke, I guess, because um, this was passed down to Luke from Obi-Wan. But, um, yeah, I can actually have um, more of these. I got the Vader, Mace Windu, I even have the double-sided Darth Maul. So, if any, um, if any of my lesbian ladies want to borrow that double-sided one, man, call me, baby. <laughs> okay, so, um... Let's move on. I'm going to put this on the ground. We got a Venom mask, man. The first time I saw this mask, I was like, holy shit. Someone just decapitated Venom and threw him on a rack. Because that looks so cool. I mean, this is so much cooler than, like, in that Spider-Man 3 movie. That fucking garbage. Like, it would have been cooler if they would have just had a guy, like, wear this mask. Than the way they featured him. Because he just looked wrong, like, besides Topher Grace, who would, who's probably the worst casting of all time, besides Brandon Routh as Superman, sorry, I hated that Superman movie too, but Topher Grace was horrible, Jesus Christ, what a fag, look at this, that is sick, we'll eat your brains, you know, you know it's sick, alright, well, let me move on. But, wow, I love this mask. I love this mask. If only they had a Carnage one, just as cool. Here we go. <clears throat> Put that down. Here, um, it's a copy of the Declaration of Independence. I don't even know why I took this out. Yeah, I got it when I went to uh, Philly and Independence Hall. I'm a big fan of history. I'm a big history buff. Um, what really inspired me to go back to Philly because, I mean, I was always into the history, but after watching that John Adams series on HBO, man, that was awesome. Paul Giamatti was ridiculously good in that John Adams series. So if you haven't seen it, see it, man. This is our country. 
and you should know our fucking history, dude. It's really great stuff. So, anyways, here's uh, another DC Direct uh, limited release. Um, I'm sure some of you guys have seen this. Some of you might even have it. I I also bought a few of these and sold them for like quadruple the price at the time. These were going fast. And uh, my only gripe with like a lot of these um, Joker figurines and statues and especially like the little $5 toys that the kids get is it hardly looks like Heath Ledger. Like, I'm sorry, but that does not look like Heath Ledger. I don't even feel like it captured his essence. Like, it cannot look like him, but give him a facial expression, which at least captures the essence of his performance. Like, I see, like, like, what is that? Like, he, it's, it's just blank. You know, it's blank expression. And throughout that entire movie, even when Heath Ledger wasn't fucking speaking, his facial expression just, like, like, it was crazy. And here it's so dull, like, they could have did a better job on that. But I think it's a cool pose. It could have been cooler. You know, but I like that he's standing on a deck of cards. You know, that's really cool. So, I'm going to move on. <coughs> You're going to see I got a wide variety of shit. This helmet I actually bought off a Greek website. It's actually from Greece. Paid like 300 bucks for it. It's a replica of the helmet that Brad Pitt wore in the movie Troy. After seeing that movie, I was like, that's a cool helmet. And I want one of those. But I don't want no, like, shitty one, man. I want a real Greek helmet with real horse hair. And this is real horse hair. So, this is a replica of, of the helmet he wore. This shit. I mean, it's really hard, dude. It's like... You know, I was uh, Achilles for Halloween some time back, and, uh, you know, I had this helmet on, and after a half hour, my neck was killing me, because this thing is heavy. This thing is real. Okay, so, let's move on. <clears throat> By the way, that's that Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter book. I didn't know how I was going to like that. I read, like, the first two chapters. Really cool. Gotta say. You know, I'm into history, so... I'm also into Blood and Guts. So history with Blood and Guts is great. And speaking of Blood and Guts, check this out. Gears of War Replica Lancer. Sure, you guys seen a few of these. Maybe you even have one of your own, but... Wow. I love Gears of War. I've been playing the Gears of War 3 beta nonstop. You could catch me on Xbox Live. My name is And Then You'll Beg. A-N-D space T-H-E-N space U-L space B-E-G. And Then You'll Beg. Xbox Live. Let's play in that fucking beta, dude. This shit is sick. I love this thing. Check it out. Wow. I just scared the shit out of my dogs. Yeah. He's cool. So, what else we got here? Let me stand up. We got a replica sword from my favorite movie, Braveheart. William Wallace. Wow. Mel Gibson, my favorite actor. You know, that dude could, like, do whatever. Like, he could say whatever he wants. He could womanize. I, I don't care what he does, dude. It doesn't take away from the fact that he's the greatest actor of all time. I don't care. The dude, like, lethal weapon. Wow. Braveheart. The Patriot, another one of my favorites. Love The Patriot. I love Payback, too, man. I think Payback is a underrated movie. Payback is classic, but... Um, so, that's a sword, it's like four feet long, it's kind of hard to tell, but, yeah, there's my Joker, Batman, bloody guitar, I put those decals on myself, and, uh, back on the topic of comic books, here's, um, I have a lot of posters, but this is, um, the original Spider-Man poster for the first movie, and what makes it special is this, that it has the Twin Towers, um, reflecting in Spider-Man's eyes. This poster was actually pulled out of theaters and it became a classic. This is actually a original. So, there it is. And once again, like I say in all my videos, um, everything you see is on sale. 